it goes way beyond being a great athlete. He has affected the lives of more people in the Baton Rouge area when it comes to keeping people alive. There are incredible stories that many people don't know about Carl Lucard, the man. Just a great guy. Very smart guy, nice guy. If you talk to him about anything he's done, he'd probably downplay just about everything. Just an easy guy to love. You could line his patients up from here to the football field. There's many people in this room right now that wouldn't be in this room right now without Carl. You're probably sitting in that chair because Carl Lucart took care of you. If anybody deserves to be in the Grizzly Greats for what they've done after their time at Catholic High, it's Carl Lucart. Carl and I spent a lot of time together on and off the basketball court. The one thing that impressed me the most about Carl was his work ethic. It didn't matter whether it was on the basketball court, uh, studying uh, as a student, uh, the extracurricular activities he was involved in as a leader in the school. Carl was probably the hardest worker on the team, which says a lot when you have you know, an all-state performer in Ed LeBlanc. He's one of those guys, he was big when he was little. He was like 14 years old, but he's probably 6'3 or 6'4. Or 6'5 power forward although uh, he sure had a nice touch from uh, outside the lane. So it was, uh, it was something to see. Carl Lucart was Larry Bird before Larry Bird. You really have to understand uh, how good, I thought, our uh, Class of 72 basketball team was. And Carl and uh, Ed LeBlanc were certainly the mainstays of that program. What a player he was. He, uh, he loved the game practiced the game, he lived the game. Uh, he knew what he was doing out there. You always got funny stories when you got a big guy that, that plays on different team. But That's when I really got to know how Carl was and would experience this for about the next four years. That man can sweat, man. When he practiced, man, it, would, it was like just water gushing out. If they didn't dust that floor before we played, take those dust mops out and dust that floor, by the time we finished playing, Carl had sweated so much, that floor was muddy. I mean, that's, that's the kind of work ethic Carl had. He worked all the time. We were roommates for four years, our entire time at Nichols. He was playing basketball all the time, and one of his fondest memories, which we still tease me about, is the opportunity to scrimmage and play one-on-one -on -one against Pete Maravich, uh, which, requires no explanations. The singular focus of all of us at that time in our lives was basketball. But as I grew to know him as my roommate, you could tell that he was a very, very special person with a huge heart. He was really a good basketball player, but he was even a better human being. And I don't think there's a more touching story than the story of Carl and Willie Titus. The big rivalry at Catholic High School in 1971 and 1972 was Catholic High and McKinley. They both had great teams. Carl played against a guy named Willie Titus at McKinley, uh, who turned out many years later to have a need for a heart transplant. When Willie got out of the hospital, he needed rehabilitation. Carl and Diana, Diana is Carl's wife. And Diana, I'm talking to you right now. I'm looking in the camera. You and Carl did something amazing. Y'all took Willie into your house. They moved him into their home as part of their family. Who does that? Guys like Carl do. To take someone into your home like that and treat him as a family member is, uh, is unique and uh, special. For Carl Lucart, that wasn't unusual for him to do something like that. I served on the board of Catholic High and I know what the mission of the school is and I can't imagine that that's not one of the greatest examples of any graduate of Catholic High School uh, as an example to the young students of serving others. Making the most of every day. So people talk about that, um, they strive to do that, but uh, uh, Carl kind of exemplifies that attitude of what can you do? It's just been such a joy to watch the growth of Carl. You know, sometimes friends drift apart and you don't see one another because of your families and just the different things that take place in your life every day. But it's always encouraging to know that a lifelong friend is somebody that you can depend on when the time comes. And Carl has always been one of those people. He puts his whole heart and soul into everything he does from the time he was in eighth grade until 
today. I'm sure I, the whole uh, Cali Kai community joins me in uh, celebrating your time at uh, Cali Kai and probably as importantly your, your contributions to the Baton Rouge uh, community. Carl, I just want to congratulate you. Your athletic prowess got you here, but that's not what people remember about you. You are a gift to all of us. You're a special, special guy. Cali Kai has a reputation for building men and you are a direct reflection of what Catholic guy can do for someone. You're the way that people ought to, ought to be. You told me you didn't think you deserved to be a Grizzly Great. You are so wrong. Your life has been about being a Grizzly Great. This trophy says Grizzly Great. Let's turn that around and say what it is. It was great to be a Grizzly. Carl, uh, he epitomizes that.